Hello everyone, I am Vikramaditya here. Welcome to GH Soft Tech. And in this session, we are going to discuss about the success in SAP jobs. And I'd be, I'd be uh, suggesting you a couple of steps that you can uh, follow with to get 100% success in our SAP jobs. And this is my part one of the sessions on SAP jobs. I'm going to uh, prepare a few more sessions on SAP jobs in the future. So basically the first and the foremost important thing is you need to keep up to date with the latest SAP developments. In a dynamic and competitive job market, such as SAP consulting, it is vital to keep your skills, qualifications and technical knowledge up to date. So SAP uh, is been, uh, you know, on, on fire for, you know, acquiring a new, new softwares and new technologies. New SAP acquisitions generally lead to increased demand with only a short supply of resources. Gaining experience in new SAP products early on, especially if they complement complement your existing specialization within SAP, can really give you an advantage. This is the most important thing that I would suggest everyone to do. So examples of such SAP acquisitions include Ariba, Business Objects, Conquer, Field Class, Hybris, success factors sybase and cyclo so i'm also going to uh, discuss in another session of uh, about regarding what type of uh, advanced advanced technologies that you need to learn which will complement your existing experience or existing knowledge on sap or, or sap or uh, sap different modules so keep an eye on new products and areas that sap are actively marketing and talking about these are usually purchased by SAP customers within a very short period of time and soon require SAP consultancies, consultancies, consultancy to work on it. Experience in SAP HANA and HANA related skills such as SAP S4 HANA Simple Finance and uh, now right now we have SAP S4 HANA Finance will make you a more attractive prospect to potential SAP employees. And SAP cloud related areas such as SAP business by design are also highly desirable at the moment. So we have how to update your SAP knowledge, use your spare time to attend training sessions and work towards SAP certifications and other industry related qualifications. As I've been telling in the previous sessions and I continuously keep telling everyone that SAP certification is not very mandatory unless and until the client insists on it. Most of the requirements look at the kind of knowledge that you have and the kind of expertise that you have to handle the client requirement. That's what is the major focus in almost all the companies where they hire SAP consultants. Whereas there are be very few uh, a very few requirements in which we need to go for SAP certification. And you can subscribe to www.youtube.com/jsofttech and update your skills for free. And you need you can you can you can just browse for 15 minutes every day. Each session will be for 15 minutes, and every day you 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 can learn a new thing. And you know if at all if you already if I, if I'm discussing something which you already know, maybe you can skip that and you can go to some other video. You can also check out our playlists. Playlists will have you a different set of videos. You can pick one play playlist which you can uh, uh, watch on daily basis. You can also visit our website sapeducation.blogspot.com or sptechnical1.blogspot.com or sapfunctional1.blogspot.com Now, other than that, you can keep attending SAP conferences such as SAP Sapphire and uh, SAP TechEd or, uh, are helpful for keeping, uh, keeping your finger on the pulse. Setting appropriate RSS news feeds is also a good way to stay in the loop with the latest SAP news in your feed. The second most important thing is the language. The fluency on a particular language is, is very, very important when it comes to it. not just SAP jobs, any software jobs. English being the global language for SAP business, uh, for all the business and indeed for SAP would be pri by primary, my primary recommendation for those who don't already speak it fluent. That's the first thing. Uh, I, folk, I, I spent some time to become more fluent in English. And next step is speaking more than one language fluently can greatly increase your desirability to potential SAP employees. Speaking the local offic official language or the language spoken 
to at one of our clients local subsidiaries could be a different differentiator especially for the international sap rollout projects so examples are arabic for middle east clients and becoming becoming fluent in languages like it will be it will help you in you know getting a good job so referring to sap's growth plans in china co-chief uh, executive bill Mac mcdermott said in a recent interview in beijing the potential here is just really so we want to treat china as its a second home so consider the huge potential of this growth market learning mandarin chinese would would no doubt give you access to thousands of new sap career possibilities over the next few years and for consultants open to working in germany the the home of sap learning german would be a great asset so it will be open open to the open the door to employment opportunities in a country with one of the most stable economies in the world and a huge number of local sap clients it will also improve your prospects for securing sap jobs in german speaking parts of switzerland where you can find some of the most highly paid sap positions and network is extremely important when you are looking for a, 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 a next changeover on your job or for a fresh start so your network is your net worth that's what uh, is the code so keeping in touch and networking may seem like a hassle especially if you are busy in your current sap positions however ongoing networking will help ensure sap work doesn't dry up in the future so make the effort to stay in touch with old colleagues also strive to make new useful contacts by attending sap network e events networking events user groups and sap conferences and the best way to keep in touch with your colleagues is not sharing some jokes or not sharing some something which is of uh, entertainment you know try to share something with them which is really helpful for their career and they would look at you as a professional friend like you know uh, every every one of us have that intention to an you know, upgrade in our technology and all and those who actually support us to do that will always be a, a good uh, you know support i mean like will have a good rapo or a good impression on them utilizing social media sites for professional sap networking is also a great way to increase your chances of being hired for potential sap jobs linkedin has a more become an essential networking tool for sap sap consultant with over 5 lakh sap related as professionals registered a number of sizable sap groups and large number of sap jobs posted by both sap clients and sap specialist recruitment agencies so keep in touch and if you have a linkedin uh, linkedin profile update it a regular on a regular basis and then you also be active in linkedin so that you can keep getting requirements which are which are up to your your expertise another great online network for sap consultants is the sap community network contributing comment blogs and sap advice here can increase your re rep reputation within the sap community and also help you to make new meaningful contacts who may well have sap work for you at same stage in the future so other useful sites would be twitter zing facebook and google plus but i'd seriously people who are seriously looking out for professional networking i i, I prefer them to stick to net uh, you know linkedin and uh, you know scn understand the requirements make sure your resume reflects all those aspects that the client is expecting out of the desirable candidates the primary skills secondary skills desirable skills and better to have skills all these are very very important when you are looking out for a job so you have to make sure that the primary skill of a particular requirement is actually the concept on which you have the skills let's say you have experience on a primary skill for, for example let's take the example of sap abap and sap abap is your primary skill and your secondary skill is hana abap and you are actually the client's requirement for desirable skills would be a person who also has a basic idea on hana development 
and better to have skills as something like you know uh, a bo business objects reports so what you have to do is like you need to have at least a basic idea about desirable skills and better better to have skills if you have that feels at least you you can mention in your resume that you have basic knowledge but make sure you really have a basic knowledge on it spend some time on it and have a quality kind of a you know spend some time and have a quality kind of information about that particular desirable skills so that you can have a clear picture and even in the interview they can feel that you know they you you really have had some you know homework uh, homework and then came for the interview so if i if i take an example if the client is looking out for sap hana abap professional and you applied with sap abap profile you may not get a call so i have seen a lot of people i've been in this industry from almost 15 years now and i've been seeing a lot of people who basically don't focus on what exactly the client needs and they think that you know they somehow have to get a job you will definitely not get a job if at all if you are not following if you are not if your resume is not aligned with client's requirement that's for sure so understanding the requirement was very important and next is like what i would suggest everyone to do is practice practice and practice as the as the quote goes like this practice makes man perfect man in the sense any human being so here this is what actually uh, uh, you know i would suggest you to practice so uh, now the thing that you need to understand is what exactly you gain from practice is the confidence and the clarity on the subject when you talk about something you talk more clearly and more confidently when you have good expertise on that particular system so i suggest even if you are working or if you are not working on sap i suggest you to spend some time quality time on practice and if at all if you are looking out for sap server access you can contact us at the email id which will be given to you at the last or you can also contact us at the email id which is mentioned in the description of this particular video Uh, wherein you can contact us for the server because server is very important extremely important for you take a server and keep practicing take an online server and keep practicing on it on a regular basis especially i'd suggest you to go for sap s4 hana platform select good sap recruitment agencies to work with the majority of sap consultants find their jobs through sap contracts via recruitment agencies therefore choosing the right recruitment agency to work with is also an important uh, aspect and can influence the chances of landing your next sap position so choose a few good agencies to work with and keep them updated with your resume uh, ability and uh, latest contact details so you also can work out on the on the on the recruitment recruitment agency whether they have a good uh, you know a specialization in sap and uh, how are the rates and all these things and the reputation also and geographical location you can check out all these things and then you can decide which one is the best for you and if at all if you are looking out for any kind of uh, contract jobs or permanent jobs you can contact us at jobs at rhsapt.com we can we can be in touch we can get in touch so ensure your resume, sap resume is the best in it can be so writing an effective resume sap resume is an essential foundation for building a successful sap career so when being considered for a new sap employment opportunity your resume is normally the first thing an employer uses to decide if you are suitable for the sap position on offer so it is no surprise that candidates who write the best sap resumes are those who are invited for the interviews and who ultimately get hired now let's say now let us uh, let us uh, more more detailly understand about this one resume plays a very important role in landing you for an interview so if you are getting a call and if you are if you are invited for a, for an interview it means that your resume is 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 something which has been selected so they don't randomly select a resume they a, a, a recruiter or uh, the client will generally check for the primary primary skills secondary skills and then desirable skills they go through the entire resume and then they give it so it's also very important sometimes to have that all the keywords that the client is expecting for example if you are if you are looking out for a job on uh, sap pw and you, the client is actually expecting pw on hana and if you don't have a pw on hana you cannot expect a call even if you are even if you get a call 
and even if you attend the interview you might not get through the interview because the the focus of sap uh, of the client is to hire an sap pw on hana consultant and not pw consultant so we need to be very very serious about what the client is expecting i have seen more than 90% of, of the candidates ignore what the